You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have an, a new face for Greater Brockton, Angel Cosma. Hi, Mark. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Angel, you've been involved in a lot of things over the years, but your latest endeavor is Brockton Interfaith Community. You're an associate organizer, correct? Right. Okay. I know Isabel Lopez is senior organizer, whatever you want to call her. Right. It's a big, Brockton Interfaith Community is a group of churches and I would say synagogues, but there aren't any left, Correct. Um, in Brockton with lay people from the organizations, with the, the pastors, the priests, the reverends, the rabbis in the past, that have banded together to be a community force. Correct, yeah. Brockton Interfaith uh, Community was established over 25 years ago by uh, area clergy uh, who wanted to do something about the social ills in Brockton, and so they mobilized and created BIC. And since uh, you know its founding, uh, Brockton Interfaith has been a social justice organization um, that works with local congregations and, and congregants and, and the community as well uh, to mobilize around various issues uh, that affect Brockton. So 25 years is a long time. You guys have done a lot of good work. There are different issues that have come up over the, over the years. Like I know BIC was involved uh, not specifically as an organization with the casino, but members of BIC were involved that were opposed to it. Right. Um, you guys, a lot of times, try not to take a position necessarily one way or the other because um, you like people to discuss and debate and talk about all of this stuff. Absolutely, yeah. We, we, we don't you know, take a, a political uh, position on, on candidates, but we look at it as educating the public. So we align ourselves around moral and faith values that, that our congregants and that we believe in. And um, so we don't want to necessarily exclude anyone, but we, as you say, would like to engage in conversations and um, really solutions that, that address the root causes of these social and uh, you know, inequalities that exist in Brockton. Now, this is an interesting time. It's always an interesting time, but this is a big election year right. in this country. Yes. And one of the first things, we're going to talk about your 25th celebration, but let's talk first on Tuesday the 6th, um, it popped up on my Facebook feed, you're doing kind of an educational seminar dealing with voting rights? Yes, yes. Okay. So there is a documentary called Selma, The Bridge to the Ballot, literally the bridge that uh, the protesters were trying to cross that, were, that they were prevented from crossing. Um, around the time in our country's history where segregation was rampant and uh, individuals who were trying to exercise their right to vote were, were limited. But this particular documentary is about 40 minutes long, focuses on teachers and youth, mostly under the age of 18, who mobilized and rallied and marched. Uh, many of them were, were beaten um, and, and really uh, endured a lot so that we can have the right to vote. And so it's, it's uh, an opportunity for us to remember the sacrifices, but also to get inspired and, and mobilized around this very important election cycle season. And it's a documentary, so it's 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 it, documentaries are truthful. Yep. They, uh, you know, it, obviously whatever the producer wants the documentary to say based on his or her work, that's what's in it. So it's not the movie Selma Correct. that you went to see, which was a fictionalized account of the whole thing, which did use all sorts of historical footage, but right. that was fiction. Correct. This is fact. Thank you for making okay. that distinction. It, it is okay. not the movie Selma. It is a documentary about the teachers and the students who mobilized to oh. make that uh, I'm, hoping I, I'm hoping that I can uh, have a free night and go to that. We'd love to have um, it. Then right after that, a couple of days later, four days later, is the big 25th anniversary of BIC. It's called Celebrating BIC. 25 years of history and a future of justice. Yes, yes. It's a good name. Yeah, thank you. Thank not you. just a name. Right. Not just a slogan, because what BIC stands for is the people out in the community that care about issues, that all band together. And um, like I participated when I ran for state rep, you guys had a forum. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the four candidates that was running and got to be asked questions by the public. And it was it was, it was was a good event. Right. So right. you guys have done that for years and years. It, BIC has been a really strong organization. You've had different organizers over the years. I remember Meyer Lakian. I remember, I remember a blonde guy that I don't remember what his name is. Unfortunately, I think he was one Jeff Cor Corgan or Kagan. Uh, it's a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but 25 years is a long time. 
you, people can buy tickets. It's a reasonably, reasonably priced event. It's not like one of these fifty, one hundred and fifty dollar ticket thing. It's, right. I think it's a couple for fifty. Yeah, a couple for fifty, thirty dollars individual, mm -hmm. um, and you know it goes on from there. We're looking for for sponsors, but if I could just really just highlight the the, the last twenty five years of, of some of the work that we've done. Uh, as you mentioned, Vic was uh, one of a few. Uh, organizations that were opposed to the casino for for the reasons being across the street from from the high school etc um, but not only that we we were instrumental in uh, bringing affordable housing to Brockton uh, dealing with the foreclo foreclosure crisis um, raising them the state minimum wage and earned sick time we campaigned heavily around that uh, we a couple of years ago brought the drug court to Brockton we were one of the first cities to um, be selected to have a specialty court to provide treatment for individuals with substance abuse uh, problems instead of the tendency to incarcerate them. Uh, and on and on it goes. And, and so I'm very proud to, to work for an organization that is multi-faith, uh, that is multi-racial, and that organizes around social justice issues and inequalities here in, in Brockton. So it's, it's incredible, it's an opportunity. We are a nonprofit and rely heavily on foundations and grants uh, and our yearly fundraisers. So this is an opportunity for us to generate the revenue that's needed for us to continue the good work that we've done over the years. Now, if someone's, is there a membership in BIC or are you in, involved in being affiliated with one of the congregations? It, it's both. We actually, this year, are exploring individual membership. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the way that we work, our board is comprised of, right now we have 19 congregations in the city of Brockton that affiliate with BIC. Each of those congregations elects one or two individuals to sit on our board, and then the board, between the board and the organizers, um, basically decide what campaigns we're going we're gonna to work on. Okay, so just to review real quick, because we're going to run out of time, I got the three-minute warning. Tuesday the 6th, 6 to 7.30, Selma, the bridge to the ballot. Where is that at? That is at our big office, which is 65 West Elm Street at the Methodist Church. We have space there. Okay, and on Saturday the 10th, the 25th anniversary of BIC is 7 to 11 at the War Memorial on West Elm Street. Correct. Okay. Yes. And then the third event that I don't want to run out of time for is you guys are involved in another kind of Q&A with a ballot question. Question two, which is the charter school question. Yes. There's a forum on Tuesday the 20th. Where in what time? Okay, great. So uh, BIC has an education committee that meets bi-weekly. And so during one of our meetings, uh, the next one, um, this particular one is on September 20th, we decided to have the Families for Excellent Schools, who is for the expansion of the charter schools, and Save Our Public Schools, which is against the expansion of charter schools, to provide a presentation to the public, to our congregants, our community, um, on the, you know, their views of why this question um, is important. And then, uh, so it's, and then they'll take uh, questions from the community members. So it's, it's really an opportunity for Brockton to get familiar with question two and, and ask questions around this very important ballot that we'll all be voting on on the 8th. A minute or less, real quick, location and time. Uh, that is going to be uh, held at the uh, BIC office, 65 okay. West Elm Street, uh, at 6 o'clock from 6 to 7.30 as well. Okay, so we got three events for BIC. Uh, it's a great community organization, and I invited you before we started to come back and keep us informed. I'd love to. I'd okay? love to. Thank you for the so opportunity, So thanks for Mark. doing what Always you're doing. Always a pleasure. Thank okay? you. Okay, same here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.